for an entrepreneur, success doesn't come on a silver platter. Some sacrifices have to be made. Sometimes those sacrifices come at a great personal cost. I have made a lot of sacrifices for my job. But the one that really affected me was losing the love of my life. It all started when the man in my life didn't understand the kind of work I do. At that point in time, I needed somebody who could actually understand the fact that my clients always have to come first before any other thing. But unfortunately for me, I had to lose him because he wasn't ready to understand that fact. It really affected me, both psychologically and emotionally. But now, I'm good. I've come to love it more and more because I realize there is nothing worth loving than my work. I had to stop work for a whole month and I lost some clients because of that. Because initially I was very punctual at work. I always deliver on time. I was truthful to my clients. Everything is kind of messed up for me. Even when I'm cutting or I'm drafting a pattern, I know this is a style I'm doing, but before I realize I'm doing something different. I got some counseling from my mom. Then um, I just bounced back. I was just like, there is nothing worth loving than my work. The breakup has been worth it. Because if he hadn't left my life, I'm sure I wouldn't have gone this far with my career. I had wanted to do catering. But mom felt I was I'll do better with fashion designing. So she advised me to take the fashion course very serious. So I first started with a family friend who was into the fashion business already. I studied with her for about three months and she realized that I was more than good. So she told me to really, really take it serious by enrolling myself in a school. After school, I got this two big contract, which I had to do two beautiful wedding gowns for my clients, which earned me a huge amount of money. With that, I asked mom's help once again to help me top up my money so I can be able to get into business. And this is how far I have come. I hardly get time for my family anymore because when I come to work, I'm alone here, so I do everything on my own. When it comes to the accounting side of my work, it's me. The cutting, the sewing, everything is me. So by the time I get home, I'm already tired, everybody's asleep. The next morning is another busy day and I have to rush from the house. I market my business through my friends. I do one beautiful garment for a friend and they recommend me to the other friends. Whenever I do a new garment, I take a shot of it and post it on either Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and the rest. And I get a lot of calls. I think the government should decrease our taxes for us, we the entrepreneurs. And also, the banks should give us loans. Usually they always want collaterals, which we don't have because we are status. The banking system should ease it a bit for us so we can be able to get access to the loans and start our own businesses. The advice I have for the aspiring entrepreneurs is they should believe in themselves. They should keep pushing. At times it will be very difficult, but don't stop. Push, 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 push.